<laughs> okay, <laughs> question four, take two. Um, so I've written the equation out, this is what we're supposed to be doing, we're differentiating it. The two there is important, it's cos of 2x. So the, the big thing is cos of something, it's a chain rule, isn't it? Cos of something, cos, oh, cos differentiates to minus sign, doesn't it? See the music system. So we've got minus sine 2x, but we've also got to multiply by the derivative of the inside bit, which is 2x, which differentiates to 2. So we've got minus 2 sine 2x. And if we differentiate 2 sine x, we get 2 cos x. So that's what dy by the x is. And hence find the coordinates of the stationary points. So at stationary points, we're looking for where dy by the x is 0. Which means minus 2 sine 2x plus 2 cos 2x, sorry, 2 cos x is 0. We have an issue with this equation, and that is that it's 2x and x. We need to get it in terms of the same thing. But we remember from core 3 uh, trigonometric identities that one that says that sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. So we've got that. Ah, this is all looking better now. We've got minus 4 sine x cos x plus 2 cos x equals 0. Of course, we're really careful that we never divide equations by something that could possibly be equal to 0. So we can divide through by 2 if we want to, but we mustn't divide through by cos x, must we? No. Lots of you did. So we take out the common factor of 2 cos x. Maybe is with minus 2 sine x plus 1. Two things multiplied together, the answer is 0, so either of them could be 0. So cos x could be 0, and sine x could be, it would be plus a half. <coughs> so these are the equations we're now solving. If cos x is 0, bless you then x is, well hang on, we were looking between 0 and pi. So if cos x is 0, the only value between 0 and pi that that would be would be pi by 2. If sine x is a half, you can either remember this or do this in your calculator if you want to, you get pi by 6, don't you, if we do inverse sine of a half. And remember, however we want to do this, cast diagram or the graph or whatever it would be, if there's pi by 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi by 6 would be over here. So that would be our second value. And finally, the question did very clearly say, find the coordinates of the stationary points. So having found our three suitable x values, we need to find the coordinates that go with them. If x equals pi by 2, y is cos of pi, because it's cos of 2x, plus 2 sine pi by 2. That gives us cos of pi is minus 1, sine pi by 2 is um, 1. So that's minus 1 plus 2, that's 1, out of that one. Um, if x is pi by 6, y is cos pi by 3, plus 2 sine pi by 3, uh, pi by 6, sorry, and that is, well that's quite nice isn't it, cos pi by 3 is a half, sine pi by 6 is a half, so a half plus two halves would be 3 over 2, and if x is 5 pi by 6, y would be cos 10 pi by 6, y like 5 pi by 3, uh, plus 2 sine 5 pi by 6, and this time you get 3 over 2 again out of that, don't you? Because uh, we've got, um, yeah, we've got the same things going on with that. Brilliant. Um, I, I'm going to write these as coordinates, but it, you know, once you've got the answer, you're there. Great, and that's uh, maths.